um, mislead the people as to who we are as Republicans, I'm going to speak out on those. That is Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, who ran for vice president last time with Mitt Romney. All he wants to do is do his job, but it seems like uh, the politics is getting in the way. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News correspondent in Washington, D.C. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning to you, and you got it right. At the weekly House GOP Leadership News Conference, Paul Ryan, uh, he was stern. He, he, and you he heard him. He said he's speaking up. He says potential Republican presidential nominees must reject any group built on bigotry, kind of hinting at certain someone we all know, right? Yeah, so he mentioned that, and he, he's he's been loath to sort of get into the race, but he's also was uh, somewhat coy and critical of Donald Trump with all of the protesters and the violence that's going on. Yeah, he definitely was. Ryan was critical of, his, of Donald Trump. Uh, and, and also, not just the violence at, at some of these rallies, but also uh, at Trump's kind of running around or uh, the topic that he's receiving support from white supremacists. Um, and as Paul Ryan says, it's a fundamental break from conservative, um, from conservative values. So with out of really naming Trump uh, specific, specifically, Ryan noted that the Republican presidential campaign has just gone into, veered into topics such as views on white supremacists that, as he said, should prompt no evasion of the topic other than a repudiation of those values. So, yeah, he was, again, speaking out uh, about these rallies, the violence at these rallies, and, and also how Trump has gone about addressing this issue, where we know a couple of weeks ago he was, he failed to disavow um, the a former leader of the Ku Klux Klan. All right, Stephanie Ramos, we got that going on. When he took over Speaker of the House, John Boehner cut a deal and got the budget off the table so you wouldn't be in the middle of a political national race and have a budget impasse. And it looks like they're going to be running for president with a budget impasse. What's going on? That's right. There is soon to be... Uh a big fight. And this is setting the stage for a fight between the conservatives and House Speaker Paul Ryan. And that this has been a long time coming. Uh, it's uh, it's also an instance of, of pretty much every other thing we see is between House conservatives and, and the GOP. So uh, it, it's making things, this spending bill is making things tough for Paul Ryan. Uh, the deal did increase government spending by about $30 billion, but it's the fight that's going that we're going to see in the coming days and weeks. All right, so where is Paul Ryan now? Is, is he going, to, I mean, is he getting any traction as a new uh, speaker? Is he in any honeymoon period? This was already agreed to. <laughs> so, so, so what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the process going forward here? Well, if this fails, if he fails, the biggest priority for him of, of this year is passing, basically passing a budget and then all 12 regular appropriation bills that are due every single year. Uh, instead of just putting them all together into one package at the last minute, which which can fail big time, so he's got to be very careful um, in in kind of negotiating. I guess you could say with about thirty to forty conservatives, um, the like he could make a deal, but it's it's going to be tough for him. Uh, and as far as the honeymoon period goes. It's, I think it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. <laughs> it was short live. Yeah. All right. Stephanie yeah. Ramos, ABC News uh, correspondent in uh, Washington, D.C. Stephanie, thanks for checking in. No problem. We'll talk to you next time. You got it. 655 here, Big 550 KTRS. Coming up uh, next hour after ABC News.